Cafe. Produce <laughs> Row Cafe on Southeast 2nd and Oak has been a Portland staple since the 70s. They've had to adapt through the years yeah. and uh, particularly during the pandemic. They've had some new outdoor seating that they've opened down there that has really nice turned a parking lot into a, a seating area now. We are joined uh, this morning here by uh, bar manager Jenna O'Neill, who I think has mixed a drink for me a time or two <laughs> there, and special uh, guest local singer songwriter uh, Leah Huser. Uh, welcome to AM Extra, both of you. Hi. Hi. All right, we uh, we have some good news for music fans. It sounds like live music is uh, returning to Produce Row Cafe. Uh, one of you take a little stab at answering that question because I know a lot of folks are anxious to get back out into the local music scene. Yeah, so we started it probably a couple weeks ago, restarted it. We um, were able to do it in the first reopen, and then we got shut down again, obviously, for a couple months. But um, the last couple of weeks, we've had a couple different artists, and it's going really, really well. It's so exciting to just be able to get back and, and feel just some of the things that we haven't had for, yeah. for a year. I mean, Jenna, how does it feel to be able to bring live music back? Oh, it feels so good. Like it's, you've heard so many people talk about recently, one of the things they miss most in the pandemic is live music and going to concerts. And, you know, unfortunately we can't provide like a huge dancing concert experience, but we still have a great space where artists can come in and bring a lot of energy for people. And one of the, one of the groups that I think, and I've observed this in the last year or so, uh, one of the groups that has really suffered the most in all of this is people that do live events, live yeah. performers, live shows, live artists. I know Oaks Park got underway with some live music performances last week. Uh, give us a little perspective uh, on, on the local artists, the live artists that have suffered and are really anxious to come back here. It's been a lot of sort of failed Zoom concerts where there's no applause and it's really awkward when you finish your song and you've got your family on the other end. But that's <laughs> other than that, you know, it's been the year was long, but kind of knew you're going to get on the other end of it. So doing something like this outside, being that the weather's going to get nice, it's really exciting. And I was really pleased when Jenna texted me and asked if I wanted to play could finally send out the group texts of guys, you can come outside and I'm gonna play some songs, you can order a drink. And it's slowly getting back to that normal, but it is really fun to have something to look forward to. And, and Leah, what, what have you guys been doing in the last year or so? I mean, you, you had to scramble in a lot of ways you probably never thought you had to, to, to make ends meet and to, to continue to exist. Are there any yeah. things that we're gonna notice on the other side of this coming out that, that local artists have been able to work on in the last year? You know, that's a good question. I'm sort of in this middle camp where I, I have my day job and so I can perform for fun as sort of my passion on the side. But I think a lot of my friends who don't have that luxury are really trying to work on um, getting their like merch sales up and doing the live stream concerts pretty steadily. And um, I, I do think though that equal to artists who really wanna get out and play, there's the audience member who really wants to see artists. So I think once we get the permission to, there's going to be a lot of mutual benefit from the live concerts again. Oh, definitely. So Jenna, for performances at Produce Row, what does this look like? How many, how many people are you allowing? Is there any kind of social distancing or logistics that you had to figure out? Yeah, definitely. So right now our capacity for the patio that we're having live music on is approximately 40 people. Um, every table is at least six feet away from all the other tables. The artists are six feet away from everyone at least. Um, and then regular COVID protocol is in line. If you aren't at your table, please take your mask off. We're constantly wearing our masks and always washing our hands. Everything's double sanitized. So we're very confident in the safety um, measures that we put in place here. Um, and then hopefully once uh, the weather's good, we have the open patio as well in the back that we can have more people in. Well, it's good to see things uh, slowly kind of returning back to normal as I guess uh, as I guess we approach more capacity in restaurants and live performances and all the rest of that. I know a nicer lot of us weather. are looking nicer weather. Oh, yeah. yeah, a lot of us are looking forward to that. And we wish the best to both of you, both at Produce Row and Leah Hauser as well. Uh, the, uh, Thank the, you the so much. Good luck. Keep it up. Stay on your feet. And we'll see you this summer and spring as more things come back to life. You can catch Leah's Thank show you. this Wednesday. Yeah, we'll put all the info on coin.com.